This is something that is, 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 is still evolving um, and, and one of the problems is, is that we we have a, a, a geriatric based scoring system that is actually been defined as being prognostic but hasn't been defined as being predictive and what that means is, is that it can give you an idea of the potential outcomes but it can't really robustly be used to direct treatment decisions although some people are actually doing that already uh, and there is no evidence yet that it can actually predict or direct clinical interventions. So the study, the only study that is actually designed to address this is the UK Myeloma 14 or the fitness study and that is going to be using the frailty uh, assessment, the IMWG frailty score and going to be using that to try and uh, adjust treatment uh, up front as an adaptive as opposed to reactive, reacting to toxicity is the standard approach. So that's, that's, that's one of the big challenges. When we look at all the new therapies that exist uh, coming through in clinical trials, trying to work out where their place in clinical practice is going to be is, is quite tricky. And that's for a number of reasons. One, clinical trials do not reflect the real world population. We know that on inclusion and exclusion criteria alone, that one in three patients don't fit to, to be entered into a clinical trial. And then you have engagement with clinical trials. And the older patients, uh, more often than not, do not engage with clinical trials as much as we also have an issue with uh, you know, uh, diversity populations as well. So the clinical trials show you what these drugs and drug combinations can do in probably the ideal population in terms of fitness, etc. But that's not ideal in terms of everyday practice. So how do we bring that into uh, evidence into our clinical practice? It's quite tricky. So we did discuss this morning issues surrounding how, for example, giving the, the results from the, the Maya study which was DRD versus RD and we looked at uh, an abstract that was presented by uh, Professor Moreau in the context of uh, delivering DRD discontinuations of one element of both elements and does that have uh, an impact on outcomes. So we are starting to think about how we actually try and trim the evidence to make it more applicable to that unmet need population.